we have in one of our academies, the Professional Development Leadership Academy that we have in Arizona, which includes about 40 of our schools and districts, we spend a whole first year in a three-year process kind of teaching them and working with them on looking at data and how to have, data, how to have meaningful data conversations. Um, one of the other things that we have in our state that's, you know, that's been really helpful is the SAI, the Standards Assessment Inventory. And we have about three-fourths of all of the teachers and educators in Arizona actually utilizing that. And it's very funny, we, at the very beginning of the process, it was getting them to use it. Now we don't have a problem getting them to use the, or getting them to take the actual survey. Um, now we have an issue with them actually sharing the results. And it's getting better, it's getting better. A lot of times what happens is they take the actual survey, a principal or a district person will look at the results and say, okay, here's some things that we need to do. But we actually want them to start sharing that with teachers and actually creating environments for those sorts of discussions to take place. It's been wonderful because we've had a lot of support from some of the other branches of our Department of Education in which um, for some of the different initiatives that are out there, it's been strongly suggested that the folks take the SAI and by doing that, they're able to use that data along with others and you know, in a way to triangulate. Here's what the perceptions are of the professional learning. Here's what the, per the perceptions are of professional learning, which will then lead to student achievement. And as they look at that information, along with some of the other data that they have, they can th then create ways to you know, hire better staff, retain better teachers, um, create better results for their students, create better lesson plans, all those sorts of things, just by being able to look at all that data. One of the areas that we're really looking at with data in regards to um, in Arizona is having people actually spend a lot of time not just looking at the data but finding meaningful ways to actually utilize it. And utilize it in classrooms, utilize it at your school level, and look at various types of data. You know, we spend a lot of time all kind of rushing to look at our state test is called the AIMS test. So we spend a lot of time trying to get AIMS scores and AIMS results. And there's a fury that's kind of built around that. But we really want people to spend time all year round looking at various forms of data that they have, you know, the classroom assessments that they take, the formative assessments that they do. And if, for example, the three of us are third grade teachers and we all are giving them the same quiz at the end of the week, okay? After we've given that quiz and after we have those results, we should then be sitting down in our prep time on a Monday or a Tuesday kind of looking at that. You know, if that was the end of a unit, you know, before we go on to the next unit type of thing, kind of looking at those results and seeing how our children fared. And once we figured out how our children fared, then finding out how we as teachers fared. So if there were things that I, if there were missteps I made or things that you could have done better or things that you did really well or I did, or I did really well, we can then share those things, and in that same way of sharing, us as three classroom teachers sharing, then bringing it forward and having principal share information. We also have done a lot with perception data. Um, oftentimes people say, oh, it's just perception data, it's just how people feel. But that's really important because if what I'm doing as a leader, you're not receiving as a teacher, or you're not receiving as a student who comes to my school, or you're not receiving as a parent who's sending your children to my school, if you're not, you know, getting what I'm doing, then I need to change the way I'm doing it so that it becomes more meaningful for you so you can actually understand my intentions. Um, a lot of times with perception data, you learn a lot of things about, you know, you might think that you spend a lot of time working on classroom management, you spend a lot of time working on behavior issues and things like that. And then what you find out from a student perception survey is that kids feel safe, they feel secure, and they feel as though they want to spend more time learning. And so all of a sudden that's a real eye-opener for you, you know. If the reasons why you deal with classroom management is so that kids feel safe and secure, and just because you're not feeling that, if the children in the classroom are actually feeling safe and secure, you know as a teacher that, hey, okay, maybe I don't need to spend so much time on that. Maybe I can move on, I can move forward. And that's what data actually does, is it provides and it kind of shines a light on areas that you need to improve on and shines a light on areas that you do very well at. And I think a lot of times we just live so day to day in kind of our busy worlds that we don't take the time to take a look and examine those things. 
one of the great things we've seen in some of our areas is that actually having data discussions with a variety of principals from different districts and different, you know, at our county levels, having principals kind of gather together and actually look at the data that they receive in regards to, um, we have in one particular county, all of them are learning strategies, uh, learning some of the Marzano, Marzano 9 strategies. And then they're going into classrooms and doing walkthroughs, observing their teachers in regards to what their teachers have learned in regards to those Marzano 9. Actually having principals share that data together, be they from different districts and things like that, is, actually, is absolutely wonderful because then what's happening is that as they're sharing that data, I as a principal might learn how to better coach my teachers in using some of those strategies. If, for example, those at George Washington Elementary School are doing better than, than those at Abraham Lincoln Middle School, then we can kind of share, okay, well, here's some things that I'm doing. I not only just walk through, I then, at that very moment, I kind of coach them, or at that very moment, I kind of, you know, take over the classroom for a minute or two and show them how to use the strategy. Recently, we were able to do some work with, I was able to do some work with two of our high schools in a particular area around evaluating their PD and around spending time talking about evaluation. And it's one of the areas that a lot of people don't do. People feel as though if people don't complain and they spent the day kind of smiling and nodding that it was an effective time together. But really kind of looking at the learning and really looking at how people are changing their practice because if people's practices aren't changing, you know, and students, if you expect students' scores to go up, teachers' practice has to change. And if people are saying after they leave, you know, the day-long session or the two-day session, whatever, if people are saying that their practices aren't changing, then you can't anticipate students' results changing. So really looking at what needs to be done for your practice to change. Does it require after a two-day session? If one of the things you say to us is that, oh, you know, the two-day session was great, but it would be great if you sent a coach around so that when I tried these things, I can actually see, I can have someone tell me if they're working or not, then that would be helpful. Okay, so now we know how to do that, and then we can kind of spend some time looking for folks. You know, there might be a world history teacher who does really well in coaching all of the other world history teachers. And so actually having conversations around the data that you're receiving and creating better professional learning for your teachers and then of course better student, better student achievement results.